I want to do a quick uh, demo, a quick and dirty demo. It's definitely going to be dirty because I don't remember the command off the top of my head, but we'll see. On um, DistroBox exports. So one of the beautiful things about DistroBox is that you can enter a DistroBox, which is like a mini container of operating system uh, with the following command. So I go to DistroBox, uh, enter Ubuntu, and even though I'm using micro OS desktop, um, I am now in a command line terminal of a Ubuntu box. So if I go to NeoFetch, it'll read out as if I'm using Ubuntu 20.04.4. Uh, so that's cool. I like that. Uh, why? Because I just ran into an issue with the flat pack for Audacity. And instead of like tinkering and finding out what was wrong with that, I was like, you know what? It's going to launch Audacity from my DistroBox container. And I forgot that I installed it there for something else I did. So uh, if you do this, I th I th I've already showed you the command for that, but you just do Audacity and it'll come up. But um, I think there's a command where you can export something. What was it? Uh, Here we go. Yeah, so DistroBox, Ubuntu, export, and then I just type in the app name and press enter. Oh, no. Oh, I know what it is. Export, a name of the container. By the way, I, uh, I, I renamed it to Ubuntu, um, so it's shorthand. Uh, some the default is like Ubuntu like 20 colon 04 whatever but and then audacity dash is there a dash needs to be here okay let's go to the help distro box export help okay uh, oh I gotta have app in front of it Let's clear this out. And Audacity. Okay, cool. So now when I press window, uh, my meta key, Audacity, I have two. One is on my flat hat, flat hub or flat pack. Uh, I think the metadata is still there. I, uh, I uninstalled it actually. But then notice here it says Audacity and then has like a parentheses on Ubuntu. So selling you essentially that that's the Ubuntu one, which I think is Chef Kiss. Nice. Because uh, sometimes you might not know just by the icon. So uh, kind of gives you a hint. So now, boom, I'm in Audacity. So now it, um, it can look like I am running this on micro OS desktop, but really I'm running this on a Ubuntu based container. So, but here's the thing now, watch this. I'm going to close out my container. So I'm going to exit out my container. Now I am in micro OSD, right? Now let's go to Audacity on Ubuntu. Let's see how that runs up because I closed the container. Boom. Maybe a second longer, maybe a half a second longer to launch. But bam, I am in my Audacity app as if it was launched on my local host native, as if it was launched natively. This again, guys, I keep on singing the song of victory <laughs> that we are here. We're living in the future. The future is now. Micro OS desktop, immutability, and distro boxes and toolboxes. I cannot wait until there's some type of graphical front end for distro box or some type of GUI that makes this even better, makes this even easier to do. Um, and that is super cool. I look forward to that because... Uh, that just takes it up another lot, another level. So anyways, I uh, thought I'd share that little tidbit. 
You can have your cake and eat it too. You want something on Arch from the AUR? You can. If you want something from Ubuntu, that's kind of like you want a specific point number because you know, again, my my uh the 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 flat pack version was like three point three something, like three point zero point one or something like that. It it broke on me. It's buggy. I want give me the LTS version of this app. That's or it's on that's packaged by Ubuntu, which tends to be way behind, but apps might be better uh, not better but uh, more stable give me that I'm okay with that so and when the flat pack is ready I'll run the flat pack and when it's not I'll, I'll have I have this sitting there ready to go uh, anyways enough of me gushing over micro SD have a great day and go try it